I'm Linnea. I've been racing mountain bikes for six years and I've hit a bit of a plateau. So I've recruited the help of Simon Lawton, owner of Fluid Ride. I wanted to take you on this journey, share all the lessons and learnings, and help you up-level your own skills along with me. Welcome to Practice Like a Pro. Uh, I think Simon's putting on his makeup. What are we waiting for? All right, so we're here today for the holy grail of learning, flatland turns. This is where, this is where the magic happens, but even more than just flatland turns, this is going to be, be about really starting to link turns together. Because one of the things that I want to bring into your riding after just having you followed you down Predator is I want your some of your pre-turns in just a few spots to be like more aggressive. And I really want you to start linking your turns together. Mm -hmm. So this solemn drill, even though we're not technically pre-turning here, we're going to really be getting into consecutive turns and really feeling what it feels like to link them. And we're going to make sure that we have the cone space today so that you're always turning. You'll notice that I did bring the pink cones that you gave me. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Minus the glitter though. So the glitter, the, glitter? the glitter's in my dishwasher now. I can't believe you wash the cones. <laughs> oh, I'm a Virgo, what am I gonna say? <laughs> Most riders who struggle with this will press the incorrect foot. Okay, so like if I press the outside foot like I'm supposed to, right foot to turn left, I'm gonna get traction and control all day long. Even like not trying to hold up my bike here, I'm gonna to get tons of traction and control. Can't even really make it slide very easily here, even though this is pretty oh, gravelly wow. ground. Yeah, but it here, yeah, if I mistakenly press here, the bike's gonna slide really, really easily. Okay, so this is what gets people in trouble with foot dominance. Most people are dominant to one foot. Most people ride with a dominant back foot, not everybody, some people are front foot dominant, but a lot of people are right foot dominant. And so when they try to turn right, they get this and they think, okay, I'm only this fast, but really they're so much faster because they're making a good turn and a bad turn, and a good turn and a bad turn. So they never really get the rhythm of the trail going. Turns out two rights do make a wrong. It's the truth. Yep, ready when you are. No running kids over. Well, you can run some kids <laughs> over. Oh, here we got one, we got a kicker. Get back foot, front foot, back foot. Good. I think I leaned to that one. Back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot. Good. Remember this. If you're not making mistakes with your cornering, you're going to have more traction going fast like I just went. Yeah, nice. Mm. How do your tires stick so? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're trying to figure out. But I feel like right now you're over cornering for what you need here. Okay. Like you're all, like, almost like trying to ensure that you don't slide when really it's totally fine to slide because the radius is so short. This is way different than kicking ourselves loose into a 180 degree turn here. Like that's a way different scenario than this. I mean, you're already, by the time you slide here, you're already halfway out of the turn. Yeah, nice. Yeah, way livelier, right? Ah. No. <laughs> Practice run. The funny thing was there that you were like, oh, I lost all my speed. I slipped the pedal or you slipped the gear. <laughs> and that was actually faster than all your runs were before. What? Yes. Nice and tall. Really quick, 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 quick. Nice. So now you're so quick on your feet that you almost have to go faster for these turns to fully link. <laughs> your speed ceiling just raised way up. Because like that's good. not even fast for you. We can't really you can't really pedal any harder than that. that you were in your biggest gear. Oh, I was. Yeah, you were in your biggest gear. Yeah, I couldn't. When you were sprinting. It's kind of the maximum start distance. So. Yeah. So without a bigger hill or a bigger gear, that's almost as fast as we can go through here. So now, because the the dirt's good today, a really good way to do this is to get good at riding dry conditions 
is to come out here every day for like two or three days okay. as it dries up and see if you can still maintain something close to that speed. To get lots of ideas about how to improve your riding with cone drills, go to fluidrideonline.com. We'll see you there.